And once again, we begin our second half hour with Decision 2022 and a race that could have major implications for how Arizona's elections are run. In the race for Secretary of State, Democrat Adrian Fontes is facing off against Republican Mark Fincham. In our first half hour, we profiled Fontes, and now we turn our attention to the Republican. Team 12's Jonathan McCall spoke one-on-one -on -one with Mark Fincham and explains his stance on Arizona's election system. He's a polarizing politician from Pima County. I was built with a heart for service. And after eight years of service in the Arizona House of Representatives, Mark Fincham, a MAGA Republican and denier of the results of the 2020 election, now wants to be in charge of enforcing election laws in Arizona. My objective in this whole pursuit is to see to it that nobody has their thumb of influence on the scale of election justice. Fincham, a vocal Trump supporter, has made national headlines after attending the January 6th riots at the U.S. Capitol in D.C., though he says he never entered the Capitol building. Since the 2020 election, he's also frequently shared debunked election-related conspiracies and is now sharing his new position against mail-in voting. That, despite Arizonans and even Fincham himself voting by mail for decades. In fact, I voted for, I think, 25, 26 elections by mail-in. But with what I have seen over the last two years, I went to the polls for the primary this year. According to the Arizona Clean Elections Commission, Arizona first made mail-in balloting more widely available in 1991. Since then, more than 80 percent of Arizonans cast their votes by mail. Several steps are required in order to not only receive a mail-in ballot to vote, but there are also several steps to verify the ballot before it's counted. Fincham is also railed against using machines to count votes even going as far as joining Republican gubernatorial candidate Kerry Lake in a lawsuit that would have banned electronic machines in the upcoming November election. A judge dismissed the lawsuit, saying the case lacked proof and only provided hypotheticals. A state Republican-led audit of the election results showed the machines were accurate and faster than the hand count. Fincham says if elected, he would be willing to reach across the aisle. Frankly, as a secretary of state, the moment I'm elected, I have to take off my partisan hat got to come off. When asked if he would accept the results of November's election if he lost, here's what he said. If there are violations of law that impact, that would impact the outcome, then I want to have our day in court if necessary. Okay. I reserve that right. Something else to keep in mind for this very important race, not only will the Secretary of State oversee election laws here in Arizona, but because Arizona does not have a lieutenant governor, by law, the Secretary of State will become the second person in the line of secession in state government. At the state capitol, Jonathan McCall, 12 News. Jonathan, thanks. And just a reminder, 12 News is your home for Decision 2022. You can track the candidates, races, and all the issues right now at 12news.com and on the free 12 News app.